Hey guys, so I've got another video here for you. I wanted to show you a awesome little tool that you can use to do some safe tweaks to your system to help speed it up. So what we're going to do is here, we're going to bring up our browser, and there's this website called tweaking.com. Now they've got lots of little tools here that I'll go over in other videos, but for right now we're going to click on Programs, and we're going to scroll on down here, and we're going to focus on this one right here called Simple System Tweaker. Designed to bring only the safest tweaks to your system to increase speed and stability. So we're going to click on that one right there. And as you can see right here, it's for Windows XP. Um, we got Vista. We got 7, 8, 10, 32-bit or 64-bit. Um, you can install it to your system, which I really don't see the point in having to install it. So if you go right down here, you'll see a direct download for the portable version. And you can read the about down here if you'd like to. You see it's going to download as a zipped file. We're going to download it straight to our desktop. We're going to hit save on that. Okay, so our download just completed. Okay, so we're here at the desktop. Here's the file we download. Let's right click on it and hit extract all. Alright, and once you've got it extracted to its separate little folder here, you'll see all these files right here. You're going to want to just double click on Simple System Tweaker. Now you can see right here, it gives you a little description of what it does. It gives you the option to back up your registry, which is really nice. That way if anything, any tweak you do messes up, or if anything you don't like it, you can always just restore it, which is a nice little feature. You've got your general tweaks, your networking tweaks, service tweaks, and visual tweaks. Now let's just give you a quick overview of some of these so that you can go through and see some of these down through here. Go over to networking tweaks. We're going to select this one to let it go ahead and enable that. Disable TCP timestamps. We're going to let that do that one. Under service tweaks right here, you can see Windows Media Services. Uh, disabled. We're going to go ahead and do that too because we're not using the Windows Media Center service and this is what it does. It disables these services right here. And since I don't use that for anything, I'm going to go ahead and select for that to be disabled as well. Then under Visual Tweaks, you see all of these select. And this is the easiest way for me to show you that this program actually does something to your system. If you um, Go to your start menu, right click on computer, go to properties. You can go down here to advanced system settings and under performance you'll see this little settings tab. You'll see this list of settings right here that you could go through and you could manually change these but you'd also have to manually go through and change all of those other tweaks as well versus just letting the software do it for you. So we're going to hit cancel over here and close that out. Go ahead and close that out. And we're going to come down here and we're going to hit apply tweaks. Okay, it says that the system needs to restart to take uh, for the changes to take effect. Would you like to restart now? We're going to go ahead and hit yes. Okay, now we're loaded back into Windows. We've restarted. I'm going to show you that it made those changes that I was talking about. You go back to Advanced System Settings, go to Performance and Settings. You can see now that all of that right there has changed, as well as all the other little tweaks that the program does. Now, these are all really safe tweaks. Um, the guy states on his page that he's done it on hundreds of computers with no problems. I have used it. On, I don't know if I've used it on hundreds. I've used it on a ton of computers. And I've had no problems at all with it. Um, these are all safe. All it is, it's not necessarily dangerous things. And if you're curious, whatever whatever each one of them is, there's a little question mark by each one. All you've got is click on it, and it will show you what it does and the exact key that it changes. It's not doing anything special but running a series of... Um, commands it'll go through and change all this stuff automatically versus you going through and doing it all manually um 
That's what I love about this website. All of the tools on tweaking.com doesn't do anything just special or malicious. They just literally run um, command lines that are already you're already able to run on Windows. It just gives it a nice little interface for you to be able to select what you want to do and then just hit a button. Um, which is really nice for me. I, I, I like hitting the button. <laughs> um, I don't like having to type all in, in the code. I like to be able to hit a button and have it done. I like easy to use tools. And that's what this is. It's an easy to use tool that can help speed up your system with the click of a button. And it's safe to use. And I would always recommend to go through and before you start to back up your registry that way if you don't like the changes um, you can just hit restore and select on the file that you backed up and then you can go through and um, restore your registry back to the way it was um, easy peasy uh, so I hope y'all enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful. Uh, do me a big favor. A lot of you aren't liking the videos you're watching, but you're not liking. Um, if, if this helped you in some way and you did enjoy it, go down there and hit that little like button. It really does help. Um, helps boost your ranks with YouTube so your videos can be found easier. Um, subscribe if you would like to see more. Uh, and as always, check out the links in the description. There's a ton of links down there that are pretty cool that you could check out, and they would help me out as well. Um, thanks very, very, very much for watching, and I hope you come back for more. Bye.